Hey there, Misfits. Ember here for Rolling Right, where you roll what you write. This is an interesting concept, and we've got Alex here to tell us all about it. Sure. Hi. So we are showing this off here at PAX Unplugged. Uh, it's our, it's the first time the public has got really gotten a chance to play this here in the U.S. But the Pick a Pen series has been designed by Dr. Reiner Kinesia, and it's a series of three games that we'll be releasing next year. Each of them are different, but all of them use the same primary mechanism of rolling pencils in order to determine what you can do, and then drafting those pencils as a group in order to take actions on your score sheet. So every round, each, each round, we will have somebody roll the pencils, and the pencils differ from set to set, depending on the goals of the, what you need to do in order to score in the set. But then ultimately, the starting player each round will then draft one of those pencils, we'll use them on your board, and then going around the table, take turns drafting those pencils until all the pencils are exhausted and we roll the pencils for a new round. Yeah, and they're colorful too, and they got all the, the different sides for different sets. Yep. That's pretty cool. How many sets are there gonna be? There are three of them, and the uh, the first one, that uh, and the one that we're pretty much showing off the most at this show is a set called Gardens, where you are filling in spaces in a garden tableau. Is that this one down that here? That is the one we've got here. And so you are filling in garden areas, which are defined by those dark areas, scoring points if they are all one color, or if all five colors are represented in a garden area. And you'll keep track of your points down here, scoring bonuses, uh, should you complete a set of all colors uh, in a different, in a, in a certain area there. There are also first people to complete bonuses, and if you choose not to use a pencil or can't use a pencil, you'll track some negatives down here. Oh, wow. So that sounds pretty cool. When, so, when are we looking for that? In the these should be out in March is the plan right now. So if all goes well and the, and the ships manage to make it in on time and through customs, uh, look for these in your stores in March. So we're thinking happy thoughts here. We <laughs> are indeed. And, <laughs> and a couple of other notes as well. Every game has three different levels. So there's a, a level one, which is the basic game we've just talked about here, but there's a level two and a level three, which add extra elements on the board and add some, uh, some other ways to score. And all of the pick a pen games have that three level uh, build up. So you can, uh, after you've played a few rounds of level one, you can move on to level two for a different experience. Awesome. And I hear there's some special news on some, some uh, other games. Oh, out. of course, yep. You got me excited. I have, yeah. to, I have to see these puppies. So yeah, again, in March time frame. It is the 20th anniversary of Saboteur, and in this box is going to be Saboteur 1, Saboteur 2, all of the promo cards from all of the World Championships, and a couple of variations beyond, and nice. all of that for $24.99 uh, US. So it's going to be, it's, so it's a very economical way to get both Saboteur 1 and Saboteur 2, and a lot of extra bonuses to boot. And I can't recommend this enough. It's been, uh, we played it at just about every con we've gone to, ever since we found it at PAX East ages ago. Yep. It is fun on a bun. And, even more important, it is the 30th anniversary of Take 5, which of course is 6 Mint uh, in, in, uh, in Europe. And this one we're really excited about. Again, $25, it has the base game, the regular game that you know and love. It's also got five variations in here. The big one, the killer app, the one we've had the most fun doing, is a cooperative mode. Wow. Where we create a dummy player, the buffalo, and it's your job as a group to score less points than the buffalo does. And oh, in wow. order to do that, there are several action cards that you're going to be given that as a group you can use to manipulate the turn order, to take and swap a card from your hand, or do other things to try and make sure that you don't take points and the buffalo does. <laughs> so fun. all of it, it, it's a lot of fun. And there's some other expansions as well. Uh, all, all of uh, the other ones, I think mostly have been released uh, at other times, but have not been widely available, certainly not in the US. So we're really, that's another one we're really excited to get out. That'll be a Mar uh, March time frame as well. That's gonna be a great springtime for Amigo Games. We have a lot of stuff and it's a lot of good stuff. And if people wanna find out more, where do they go? Sure, you'll go to www.amigo.games. Games is the, it's not com, it's games. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.